and welcome to Challenge the Other Side, where Revelations 12, 11, it says we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Um, I've got Miss Billy here today, and she's going to um, tell us what the Lord's laid on her heart, and we have already prayed that it's going to touch somebody today. So, what would you like to say? Well, I, I went through about seven years ago a really traumatic event. And uh, the best part of it was the way God just brought me out of it and healed me. And it was it was something to really experience. And uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with it because it's, for one thing, it's too long. But I was very traumatized with it. And uh, my brother, uh, he kind of was in a... Oh, I don't know, a bad state. And I hadn't seen my brother in like 10, 12 years. And he contacted my husband and myself and kind of came in and I started trying to help him out a little bit. And one day he decides to come in the house and he actually shot and killed my husband in, in our living room. Mm -hmm. And uh, he threatened me several times. But, you know... Sometimes we go through things that just, I don't know. You know, I kept <clears throat> asking the question, why, why, why? And the more I, the more, and I feel bad about it, but everybody's going through this. I always felt a hatred mm. for my brother. And I didn't realize that that was something that kept me from healing. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I, I couldn't heal from that because I was holding on to that animosity for, mm -hmm. for what he did. And uh, one day, it was like, I, I mean, it was almost, I can see it now. I, was, I had fallen into a deep, dark depression, a hole. Like, I couldn't climb out. I couldn't walk mm -hmm. out. I couldn't get out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, this is the beauty of the whole thing right here was I was in this hole, couldn't go anywhere, and I did not get the name of Jesus out of my mouth. All I got was, gee, and I'm going to tell you, he didn't walk to me, pat me on the head, say, okay, everything's going to be all right. He didn't take my hand. He ran. Oh. He ran just as, I mean, I can still see him running to me. And when he, when Jesus ran to me, it was, it's hard to explain. I knew who, who he was. I could see him. It, and, and he didn't just take me in his arms. He literally engulfed me in wow, his being. yes. In yes. his self. Yes. And he, thank you. And he told, he, the love that was pouring from him. <laughs> I love that. It was, <clears throat> I, I, I can't, I can't, the only way I can explain the love that he was giving to me was I, he started healing me. Mm -hmm. This animosity, this hate, it was coming from me. It was, he was taking this from me. And he was giving me this love in return. And I kept, and finally I knew it was almost time for him to leave. I could feel it. And I'm going, please more, please more. The Ugh. most beautiful part of this whole thing was he looked at me and he goes, I can't give you more because your body can't contain it. Wow. Now think about that love. That that's that's a love. Yes. My body couldn't contain the love he had. This is the love he has for all of us. We need to realize how much we're worth to him. Praise the Lord. We yes. are worth so much. And all I did I didn't even call his full name. And he was there for me. Yeah, yeah. And he healed me. He took all of the animosity, he took all this hatred, he took everything from me. And it was it was like, it doesn't matter why this happened anymore. It, it, you know, because you always, the human, <laughs> I, why? Why did this happen to me? It doesn't matter. Wow. It happened. And someone is going to get a blessing. Mm -hmm. I was blessed. 
I give a testimony. God allows me this. Yes. Go through this because if it helps someone else, praise God. Praise That's God. what we want. That's awesome. Do what? Go into some of the details of what it did for you. Oh, yeah. Well, I could tell you what some of the things that my brother did to me. I mean, I was... I was, we were in the house, and my brother came in, of course, and uh, he had my husband tie me up, or tape me up. Actually, he taped me. And uh, I'm, he makes me sit in the kitchen floor, and he has, he tapes my husband up, and he reaches up with a gun, and I watch him. He shoots him in the back of the head twice. So if that wasn't traumatic enough, then he starts threatening me with, you know, holding me hostage. And uh, it... Yeah, it's, wow. it's kind of hard for me to talk about that because I That's still, true. you know, have some <clears throat> issues with it. But, you know, all I did was, all I, could, I can remember sitting there and I'm thinking, okay, God, if it's my time. Yeah. And I said, all I ask is that you forgive me for any sin or any Amen. unknown sins that I have committed. Forgive me for that because I'm coming to see you. And little did you know that you were going to have, because of that hard time, that traumatic experience in your mm -hmm. life, that that, because you didn't harden your heart towards Jesus, he was able to come and you had an encounter with him that like forever changed your life. Am I right? Correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and then, you know, you, you can't lock Jesus out. <laughs> That's, I mean, if you start locking him out of right. your life, then what have you got? You have got nothing. You have nothing. There's nothing there. And you said what really touched me is, and I know, I, I am honored to be able to know that feeling that you're saying, that, that love that you can't can't express it and you can't contain it mm -hmm. and not unfortunately not a lot of people you have have gotten to be able to go through that um and, and it's a good thing but you know where the bible says um a crushed and contrite spirit who can bear right mm -hmm. um and so with that he can come and heal our wounds. And I had a, an experience, an encounter with him that forever changed me. And it was that love that you were talking about that mm -hmm. he saved me out of um, a human sex trafficking situation. Mm -hmm. And um, it, I had never in since it like had anything like that come over my life, you know, and, mm -hmm. and except for like I know that was Jesus. And it was something like he was speaking to me through my feelings. That makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know exactly what you're saying. He doesn't speak, but he speaks. But he, yeah, and it's cool because you're yeah. just like, I knew what he's saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> in my telepathy or yeah, something. In my, yeah, in my spirit. feelings, yeah. In your spirit. Mm -hmm. That was just like, you know, I was telling Miss Sandra, or Sister Sandra, uh, kind of a little bit about it. And it was like, I knew who Jesus was. I could see the brightness, the yeah. the 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 aura, and I knew he had a face, but I couldn't see the face. Right. You you yeah. You, you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. But it didn't matter because you knew. Because I knew yeah. who he was. Yeah. He what is it uh, in the Bible? He says, "My children, my lambs, my people, they know me." Yes, they know my voice. And you, yes. yes. Oh you my do. gosh, uh, you, you do. do. You totally do. And you, it's so there's awesome. no question. And it's just like, oh, like you said, give me more. Like you know, I I remember I was at the foot of this. I got chills. <laughs> <laughs> you love I love it. I was at the foot of that cross, um, in the middle of Euphoria, Mississippi, and I was feeling that what you're feeling and I just wanted to hold the cross for him. I just wanted to like carry it. Carry it. it. Yeah. I mean it was just it but was you, do. you know indescribable. Yeah. I but guess you you're do right. carry you're right. this cross. I mean right. he's letting you know I mean yeah. I'm sorry. That's I'm okay. Cutting you know. your, I'm cutting into yours. Go ahead. You know there is something I'd like to say here about Yes ma'am. You know I told you a little earlier about how I felt about forgiveness and the hatred and the yes and yes. you know I was praying this morning I was trying to do some little things here and 
there was something really pretty that I felt like God put on my heart. Oh, yeah, let's do it. And it was forgiveness of sin. Only God can forgive sin. Human people, we can't forgive sin. But what Jesus, what God gave to me was we can forgive wrongdoings. Mm -hmm. And this is what I got from this, and I'd like to read it. it. Forgiving requires that the wrong not be allowed permanently to damage and distort oneself. And that's exactly what was wow. happening. It was distorting me. It yes. wasn't hurting anyone else. It wasn't hurting. It wasn't affecting my brother. Uh, I, did t I didn't tell you my brother did commit suicide later oh. that afternoon. So so it didn't affect him. Mm. It didn't affect it. It was me. Mm -hmm. And Jesus brought me out of that. He, God just, he said, okay, this isn't enough of this, you know. Right. I, instead of spanking you for doing something you should yeah, yeah. I'm going to love you this time. Yeah, that's right, you know? that's right. That's so, right. I mean, I guess that's about all I have to say. I mean, if if you have any other questions. Or, I, you, know, you know what, that is a beautiful, I mean, that is a beautiful testimony and a testament to um, Jesus' love for mm -hmm. us and how he will come inside of, like, we... You know, that distortion you were talking about, I had that too. And so he had to come and just tell me um, and heal me. And it takes sometimes it takes a long time and sometimes it's just, you know, quick. But it's just a testament to, yeah, it took me a little while. He's still unfolding the onion. <laughs> you know. You're like an onion. I'm You're just like an onion. onion. <laughs> You're like I've, onion. I've got such, such, so many layers. It's not tough. Let's not talk about layers. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You start, you start putting my layers uh, back. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> That's all right. Well, I have just thoroughly enjoyed um, oh, talking with you. I and just, I know that the Spirit of the Lord was here. Yeah. yeah. I just want this to bless someone. I know that it is. You know that someone will know God loves you. I'm telling you, He loves you. And He loves you with a love that you will probably never understand because I still I experienced it and still don't understand it, but it's awesome love, and I want you to know He loved you. He loved you. Well, I can't back up. I can't say anything else after that. That's amazing. No, you're great. You did a wonderful job, and thank y'all. Thank y'all. If you would like to um, give your testimony, um, just hit up the comments, and y'all touch that subscribe button. We need more subscribers. Thank y'all.